The Foundation of Arts is the front porch of Northeast Arkansas. That's what I like to think of it as anyway. It is about all types of arts and artists, from students to amateurs to professionals, and it is a place for people to come and understand and enjoy the process of creating arts, but then also for people to come and just enjoy the final product. FOA has been here for uh, almost 40 years, um, you know, is grown within the community. What we try really hard to do is make available arts experiences, education, all kinds of processes and things that people can participate in, regardless of their financial ability to pay. No matter what income your family has, we want to make sure that we're making it affordable and that we're going to offer that to you. We offer ballet classes. We also offer theater classes, musical theater, visual arts classes of all kinds tap and jazz classes. We have a competition dance team as well. We have students, probably about 300 students that we serve at any given time. So that's really important to us to keep up the education um, of the community and for anyone who really wants to uh, kind of put their nose to the grindstone and really learn a lot about their particular art. We want to make sure that everyone can be welcome and to have the opportunity to grow through the arts. We also have FOA music. We really like to support local musicians here in the area. So they play everywhere, all over town. And then we also have, of course, our community theater. Maybe it's our oldest program, but it's also so strong. Uh, we try our hardest to really have high principles in terms of how we do community theater. We number people and about 25,000 people are touched by the FOA annually, coming down as patrons or participants or students. You know, if we took everything else away, if we didn't have any electricity, and we was down to sitting around a campfire, how would we be entertained? It would be through the arts. It's going to be through acting, it's going to be through singing, it's going to be through uh, dancing. We would get right back down to the basics, and I think that's what makes it so important and so essential to have. We like to think that all of the participants who come here, and, and they number in the thousands per year, really help to support the economy and also, of course, grow as individuals as they participate with each other in community to create things that are beautiful and honest. I love watching students who come in and do shows with us or take classes with us who've been told at school that they weren't any good at choir or at um, theater, or maybe they've just kind of thought they weren't any good because they didn't really ever participate or weren't really validated in it at school. But then they come to the FOA and they start to really learn some skills and they learn confidence because it's such a nurturing environment and pretty soon they're leads in a show. And you think, what? Two years ago somebody told you you couldn't sing? And now you're seeing a lead in a show and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, so much of the arts is about increasing confidence. And when your confidence increases, your whole horizon expands. You, you learn how to do things that you never thought you would have learned because you just tried. And, and when you don't have the confidence to try, then, then you're never going to grow. They're, when they think back about what they did here or what they continue to do here, it's going to bring a smile on their face. They're going to remember the way they felt when the light hit them when they first walked out on stage or how nervous they were or how proud they were whenever they finished the class. Any way that we can reach out and maybe help to inspire uh, you know, an individual to, to broaden the horizons, to, to see things a little bit differently, to bring some joy and life to them is always great. The power of the arts, it brings people together and no place better than the foundation of arts.